You know, the choice to move to, to 10x, um, we had to take pretty seriously because we've got a very large member base. I personally was very comfortable with the investment philosophy. I was very comfortable with the people, and that was what gave me a lot of comfort. What I liked and what caught me with 10x right at the very first time I saw it was it was a fundamentally different model, and it kind of exposed some of the myths um, and dealt with those very transparently. In most of our other examples and other cases, we tend to be dealing with big organizations, multi-layered organizations, um, consultants, advisors, asset allocators, um, traders and the like and you never really seem to get a full and complete picture. Uh, each person has their little piece and little role to play but you don't ever get a full picture from everybody and there's a lot of self-preservation involved. Um, so what I did like about 10x is a small boutique, it's got uh, principals who run the business and you can speak to those principals and negotiate with them and that was very comforting for us. The experience with 10x has been fantastic. Um, this is not only my view, which is very much third hand, but the views of the people that are in the front line, um, the principals, the trustees, uh, the financial people in the business, um, they've been overwhelmed by the transition process. Usually quite critical and quite vocal about things, anything. Um, I can usually find something that I don't like or something that I could recommend that could be improved. And I kind of thought about it. I also asked some of our people in the, in the bank, in African Bank, and to be honest, the experience so far, I haven't found anything that could improve the model. I think it's a great model. I think 10X is a fantastic concept. I liked it from the first time I saw it. I think it's bold, it's innovative, and it's honest. And for me, I like to back people that um, you know, are, are daring to be different. Um, so it's absolutely something that I would recommend. Uh, it's tough. It's tough to build a business from grassroots and especially one where you've got things like trustees and middlemen and advisors and consultants that kind of are creating a tide that just flows against you. But I've got no doubt the model will work and it will build up and I think it will be an interesting complement to our savings uh, landscape in this country. We were looking for a provider that gave us focus on the decisions that as a board were important to make without the, the, the myriad of words, the jargon that we see regularly, the confusing different structures that are out there, the pricing mechanisms that seem to vary enormously. Uh, the 10X team were able to show us that costs are extremely important and actually can have a very significant effect on your long-term performance that you see out of that fund. The statements we receive are, are quick, they're online, you can get them quarterly statements, the team are up here regularly, but the information they get is there's, there's limited jargon, it's the facts, it's easy to see how we've performed, it's easy to see what our cost impacts have been, and you know, I think the, you know, we've been very happy to date. For us it was quite simple, and again, I think it comes back to knowing the individuals in the organisation in 10X, and having worked with them for many years, and from the skill set and the passion and drive for what they were planning to do, um, and the product that they constructed, we were very comfortable to move across to them. The product has been tried and tested, it's a single entry, it's passive, it's low cost, and I think relative to all the member choice um, out there, it is probably the best product out there for 90% of the population.